हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर लर्निंग इंजीनियरिंग स्टेटिक्स एंड डायनामिक्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस ट्वेल्व नाइन टॉपिक फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग डायनामिक्स एंड दिस टॉपिक इज एब्सोल्यूट डिपेंडेंट मोशन एनालिसिस ऑफ टू पार्टिकल्स राइट सो समाइम्स इन रियल लाइफ वी डील विद सच मोशन विच आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन ईच अदर right let's say if we have these two blocks and these two blocks are linked with each other through this rope which is passed through these two these three pulleys right so as we can see that if if this uh, block a moves towards the right so what will happen is that this block b will move upwards and if this block b is moved downward then what will happen is that this block a will move towards the right, towards the left right so as we can see that the motion of this block a and this uh, this block b and this block a they are dependent on each other right so to solve such kind of problems first uh, what we need to do is that we need to define a a point from where we will uh, find the location of a particular block right so we will define a, a particular line or a point right so let's say in this particular case we define this line as a as a reference line and this reference line is known as datum right so we have to define our datum right so the this depends on the th this depends on problem to problem whether we need to define only one datum or we need to have two datum lines right or more than one datum lines right so in this particular case we need to have uh two datum lines right so one datum line is here and the other datum line is here right since uh block b is moving in the vertical direction and block a is moving in the horizontal direction so we need to define two datum lines right then the second job to solve this kind of problem is that we need to we need to look for those uh, part of the chord which are changing their lengths right so now in this particular problem we can see that this part of the rope and this part of the rope the length of both of these parts of the rope will change right so if we move this block b downwards then what will happen is this the length of this rope and this rope that will change and as we can see that in this in this part of the rope and in this part of the rope the change will remain the same right so then what we see is that we attach a coordinate sb we we attach a position coordinate right let's say that we we say that the 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 position of this pulley from that datum line is let's say measured by this variable let's say and that variable is sb right so we say that the length of this rope is sb right and similarly the length of this rope is sb and similarly the motion of this block a is related to this datum line and we say that if this the position of this block from that datum line is let's say represented by sa then the next step is that what we do is that we write an equation right we relate the motions of block a and block b right we relate the motion of each and every particle if the system has two particles then we have to relate the motion of both of these particles and the motion Uh, of this particle is related through the length of this rope right so now as we can see that these red portions this this part of the rope and this part of the rope the length of this part of the rope and the length of this part of the rope it will not change it will always remain constant right this part and this part it will always remain constant let's say that this constant length is represented by a and this constant length is let's say represented by b and let's say that this constant length is represented by c right so now if if i add up all these lengths right so this will be a plus this sb plus this b and then again this sb this is again that will be since both of these will remain the same so this is sb also so i will write plus sb And then this is length c and then as we can see that the this length of the rope this is h right let's say that we represent this uh 
length of the row by a variable h right so let's say that we add that h as well right this is plus h and then plus se and this will be equal to the length of the rope and let's say that the length of the rope is represented by variable l right so now as we can see that this sb and this sb they that will add up this will become 2sb and then we can say that this is plus sa and then as we can see that if this block a is moving towards the right like this then what will happen is that this block b will move up but the length of this part of the rope will not change this means that this h variable will remain constant right so then we can say that this a b c and h they will give us a constant right let me write that this is a plus b plus c plus h and this will be equal to l and let's say that this whole this everything gives us constant let's say that constant is represented by let's say k right so we can say that this is 2 s b plus s a plus k and this is equal to l right or we can say that this is 2 s b plus s a and this is l minus k and let's say that we say that this l minus k this total length of the rope minus this that constant length is let's say let's say that this l minus k is equal to l a right so this will be equal to 2 s b plus s a equals to l a right and since we have only one rope and the length of the rope will remain constant right since we consider such kind of uh, in such kind of problems that the ropes are not extendable right their lengths are fixed right so this means that this l a is also fixed this is also constant right so now if i take the derivative with respect to time right on both side of the equation so this will be 2 d s b divided by d t plus d s a divided by d t and this will be d l a divided by d t right so this will give us the velocity of block b so we can write this is 2 v b and this will give us the velocity of block a and since this l a is constant so this will give us derivative will give us 0 and from this we can say that uh, 2 v b will be equal to minus v a or we can say that v a is equal to minus 2 v b so now what does this mean that if if block a is moving towards the right right moving in this direction this is our positive s a right uh, moving towards the right from this particular datum uh, we say that this is our positive s a direction right so what does this mean that if v a is positive then this means that block a is moving towards the right so if block a is moving towards the right what this equation tells us that block b will move upwards right since the s b the, po the positive uh, motion of the block b is in the downwards direction right we have defined that this is our reference datum and going below this datum line is the positive position of this block b so now from this equation we can say that if block a is moving towards the right that is the positive v a direction so what will happen is that this block b will move up right the minus sign indicates that block b will move up upwards and the velocity of block b will half the velocity of block a right how i am saying this let's say that v a is equal to 1 meter per second let's say then from this equation we can say that v b will be equal to minus v a divided by 2 so if v a is 1 meter per second then if, if i put v a 1 meter per second in this equation so this is this is minus 1 divided by 2 which is which is minus 0 0.5 meter per second right so from this equation we analyze that we say that if block a moves towards the right block b will have 
the velocity in upward direction and the velocity of block B will half the velocity of block A. Right? Similarly, if we say that the velocity of block A is let's say 5 meter per second towards right, then the velocity of block B will be half of this velocity that is 2.5 and that will be upwards. Right? So, now while solving such problems, we will not consider the those particular portions of the ropes which will not change, right? The length of which uh, portions will not change, right? So, we will not count that in our equation, right? So, we will only write the equations in terms of the variable lengths, right? Since ultimately we will take the derivative of the length of uh, that parts of the rope which are variable, right? And that that will that will be constant like this L A and and the derivative of that constant will give us zero, right? If if I have used this equation, right? Let's say if if we take the derivative of this equation, this is L minus k. Still, it will give us that zero on the right hand side. If I take the derivative, then this will be two d s b divided by d t plus d s a divided by d t. And this is dl divided by dt minus dk divided by t, and this will give us the velocity of block B. This will give us the velocity of block A. And since this length, this whole length of the rope is constant, right? So this will become zero. And these, this k, are the lengths of those particular portions of the rope which will remain constant, right? So again, this is zero. So, this is 0 minus 0, so we will get 0. So, we will get that same equation. Now, we can solve this particular problem by uh, using one another way around, right? So, what we can do is that we can uh, relate the, the position of this block B with this one, with, with this datum, right? So, let's say if I define another datum here, let's say, let's say if this is my datum and let's say the position of this SB block B is let's say related from this particular point and I say that when block B moves up then the upward direction is positive and we say that this is SB now right and let me remove this now we relate the motion of block B with this uh, pulley right with the center point of this pulley so now we can write the equation of that uh, rope as well right so now we will write that this particular portion of the length this particular portion of the length will be equal to this h this will be h minus sb right so now we can write that this will be h minus sb this whole length is h and this this part is SB so then this will be H minus SB so this is 1 H minus SB plus 2 H minus SB right so this will become 2 H minus SB and then this will become H and then this will become SA and need we we are not writing the the constant lengths right in our equation right since ultimately they will give us 0 when we will take the derivative so, this will be equal to length of the rope, right, minus the lengths of these uh, constant portions, right. So, this will become 2h minus 2sb plus h plus sa equals to l and we can write that this is minus 2sb plus sa and this will become 3h. and this will be equal to L. Now, if I take the derivative, so this will be minus 2 d by dt sb plus d s a by dt plus 3 d h by dt and this is d L by dt, right. So, this will be minus 2, this will give us the velocity of block B, this, this will give us the velocity of block A and this will become 0 since h is constant and this will give us 0 so this is now we can say that uh, the velocity of block a is equal to plus 2 velocity of block b 
so in the previous method we got uh, v a equals to minus 2 v b right but in the previous case we were our reference point for the motion of block b was this datum right now our datum for block b is this line right so now from this equation we can say that when block a moves towards the right block b moves upwards right again since now sb the positive sb is in the upwards direction right so now this particular equation gives us the positive sign here right and in the previous case the positive sb was downward the positive sb was in this direction right so what was what happened is that we got the negative sign and the negative sign uh, told us that block b will move up but in this particular case since this is our datum so according to this datum line from this datum if if s block b will move upwards then that is the positive velocity then that is the positive moment according to this particular datum right so now if from this equation we get that same result right from this we can say if if block a moves towards right block b will move up with half velocity of block a and from this equation if we write the same statement so again from this we can write that if block a moves right towards right block b will move the negative sense tells us that it will move upwards but according to this datum it will move upward right with velocity of with with half velocity of block a right so the conclusion will remain the same right so i hope you people would have understood the uh, problem solving technique for the absolute dependent motion i will solve uh, much more problems uh, for this particular topic so so they will be here soon